Hi, I'm Mr. Simons. In this video, we're gonna look at the factors of production. This is an important economic concept that is really a sort of a central element in looking at how an economy operates and how an economy produces goods and services. So if we think about it, we're sitting here in this economy and let's say we're starting at point A. And point A is the point at which we know that uh, consumers, that citizens, that people in this economy want particular goods and services. That it's our job in an economy to satisfy these wants, to satisfy the demand for these goods and services. And so then our uh, end goal, which we'll call point B, point B is the situation where we actually produce the goods and services that people demand. So we're starting at A, which is where we know what people would like, and then B, we're actually giving them the goods and services that they demand. But the challenge is, how do we go from point A to point B? How do we go from this idea of what to produce to actually producing the goods and services? So the answer is that in an economy, resources are used to produce goods and services. And those resources are what we call factors of production. Because if you think about it, those resources are elements or factors that actually enable or allow the production of goods and services in an economy. Now, if you've watched this channel for a minute, you'd understand that I really like formal definitions. So if we're thinking about the factors of production, we can define this as any resources that can be used in the production of goods and services. The four main types are natural resources, also known as land, capital, labor, and enterprise. Let's just clarify those. So the first factor of production is land. Now land is like a catch all term, a really broad term, and land applies to natural resources. So the stuff we dig out of the ground that helps us produce goods and services, as well as well, land. So empty land, like undeveloped land. So land is a really big term that encompasses uh, natural resources as well as property. Now, labor, the other factor of production, labor is like the physical and mental effort. It's the people, it's your workforce. It's those actual people that are there producing, designing those goods and services that people demand. So we've got land, labor, uh, capital. Capital goods are goods that are used to produce other goods. So a capital resource might be something like a factory, a production line, a production facility. These capital goods are not produced for immediate consumption. Instead, by using these capital goods, we can actually produce other goods, those goods and services that consumers demand in the economy. So we've got land, labor, capital, enterprise. That's our fourth factor of production. Now, enterprise is kind of like the brains of the operation. Enterprise is the ability to combine the other three factors of production to produce the goods and services. Sometimes enterprise is described as entrepreneurship, try saying that three times quickly, which is kind of like that ability to combine all those factors of production, uh, like you're organizing it, like maybe Minority Report, you're shifting things around, putting them in the right combination to then produce goods and services. Okay, so our four factors of production, those resources that allow us to produce goods and services in an economy are land, labor, capital, enterprise. Now, for the people that own those resources, they get a reward for that. For example, if I own land and someone would like to use that, my reward is rent. If I have my labor and people would like to use that, my reward for supplying that labor is wages. If I own capital equipment, and other people would like to use that, my reward is interest. And finally, when I'm thinking about entrepreneurship and I have this ability to combine all the factors of production to make goods and services, my reward is profit. I get the profit from the proceeds of that enterprise, from the operation of that business, which I am making a success by combining those 
other three factors of production. To satisfy the demand for goods and services in an economy, we need to use the factors of production. We need to use those resources to go from this starting point, point A, people want certain goods and services, to point B, where we are actually producing those goods and services in the economy. One thing to note with the factors of production is they are not infinite. They are limited resources, or even better, using the language of economics, they are scarce resources. So for example, land is not infinite. So we need to manage the scarcity of that resource, really try and solve that economic problem of unlimited wants and limited resources, in the best way that produces the goods and services that people demand and involves the least waste of those scarce resources in the economy. Okay, so this was a really quick look at the factors of production. Any questions or comments, put them in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching.